Hey guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some easy ways to take good pictures of your kids for Mother's Day. Now I was thinking about what I should do for a Mother's Day DIY. I thought, oh, I'll do an apron. I don't have an apron tutorial on my channel yet and that would be a good one. And then I got to thinking about it. I would not want an apron for Mother's Day. <laughs> Call me crazy, I don't like to cook that much, I would not want an apron. So I thought, well, maybe other people wouldn't want one either. And then I thought, well, my mom, my mom doesn't cook that much, she probably wouldn't want one either. My mother-in-law, mm, same thing, uh, would not really appreciate an apron. So I thought, well, maybe I should think of something different. And the thing that I thought of that I think across the board, any mother anywhere would love is updated pictures of their kids their grandkids, their nieces and nephews, whatever the case is. And so I thought, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do for my Mother's Day presents to my moms. I have a mom, a stepmom, and a mother-in-law. And uh, be able to send this picture out to the grandmas. And this is just a better option all around. I will still do an apron tutorial. I'll have that go up in a few weeks. Um, but anyway, let's get going on some of my tips for taking good pictures of your kids. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, my children shared with me their head cold. So <clears throat> sorry if I sound a little nasally, but let's get going on these tips. So my tip number one is to use a prop. I went to Party City, any sort of party store, and I got some balloons, and my kids were really excited about the balloons, and then I also told them that if they were good and <laughs> kind of cooperated with me for the photo shoot that they could have the balloons afterwards and play with them. So using some sort of a fun prop, just something to have them doing something in the photo, I think that's a good way to just sort of like bring their personality out a little bit more. You might get some more creative images that way. My other tip is to let the kids wear what they want. And this is sort of a funny tip because my kids ended up actually picking things <laughs> that matched. Um, I sort of tried to steer them in a direction, but really I just said, you know what, you can wear whatever you want as long as it's like a church clothes, nice clothes type of outfit. And then that way they felt comfortable and my daughter especially is really into dresses and like it would really affect her if she wasn't wearing something that she wanted to be wearing. So I think that's a tip just kind of like in general, you're already trying to um, kind of control this like photo. I don't know. It's like when you have these expectations and you really want it to turn out perfectly and then you kind of like keep asking your family to do this and that and this and that, then it's just gonna like end up falling apart in the end. It's okay for them to wear what they want. Really what you're trying to get is a good photo of the two of them and the more natural and happy they feel in what they're wearing, you probably get a better result. So my other tip is don't wait. Take good photos now. Even if you only have a cell phone camera or just a simple point and shoot, now is the time to take good photos of your children. You don't wanna wait until you invest in a DSLR camera or a friend comes over so you can borrow their camera or this and that. I mean, really, now is the time to take good pictures of your kids and so don't wait. Just use your cell phone, it's gonna turn out fine. And if you can use a nice camera, great, but don't have that be the reason why you don't have good pictures to send to the moms for Mother's Day. Okay, so my last tip, I'm just gonna do like four tips, um, just some really simple ones, and then I'll show you what I got from my little photo session with my kids. But my last tip is to kind of like wait till the end of the day to take the photos. I waited until later in the day and I set up a little area in my back patio to take the pictures. And this way there's not like harsh sun on your kids' faces with like shadows and you can't see them very well or they're like squinting and they can't see from the sun and so this way, it was still light enough so that I could use natural light for my camera and not have to use a flash or anything like that but it was just like a nice kind of diffused light and nothing too harsh so that is like kind of the best time it's called golden hour it's the best time it's like the hour before the sun goes down and that's usually a really good time to take pictures so right now my image is at um, Target getting printed you can have Walmart Target online places Costco there's lots of different places to have your pictures printed out really inexpensively you can use a frame that you have on hand or purchase a frame um, there's a lot of different options for that so um, mine is currently getting printed right now so I will cut right here to a picture with my frame and kind of the one that came out it's okay if only one or two pictures come out that's all you need for your Mother's Day gift and I just think that this is such a great present to give to mom grandma auntie 
And really, if you're just trying to update some pictures in your home or Christmas present, Christmas, um, Father's Day is coming up. There's just like so many options that you could do for this. And I really think that mom is going to love it. So, so this is my Mother's Day DIY. I hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, leave me any questions, comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this was a good <laughs> Mother's Day option rather than an apron? Um, do you agree with me? Not agree with me on the Mother's Day apron issue? If that's what it is. Anyway, comment below. I'd love to see what you guys think about that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let's say hi to Grandma again. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma.